All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today we're gonna be talking about some more Forge info. 343 has been releasing so much content, like updates and articles all the time. They had so many over the past couple days, but since this is a map creation Forge type of channel, I'm not really gonna cover all that other stuff, you know, specifically, but I will be covering, uh, you know, anything that's involving Forge, of course. But I do wanna say that they just released their um recent winter update battle pass uh preview thing right here they just went it's 12 minutes goes through the battle pass honestly the battle pass to me personally looks great it's a free 30 tier battle pass uh, that's coming out on the 8th and it's just basically just 30 tiers where i guess it's technically 21 tiers of like armor i think there's nine tiers of like xp uh, emblems because they always have the emblems separated it's not together um, but you know at, at 21 tiers of free armor of some reach stuff like the mark 5 they have the cqb in here the cqc in there like a whole bunch of different shoulders and everything like that i'm okay with that that's fine with me they also said in here that they're going to be releasing another update before the end of the year so maybe in like december before they go on break or something like that um, so I'm excited to see what that is. They never gave any idea about what that's going to include, but excited. They're gonna said if, if they're doing all these updates, like how what they've been doing here, adding XP, uh, being able to earn XP through your matches and everything like that, and being able to you know search per region or things like that. I'm I'm happy like uh, to be able to have stuff like that. And is, if they do more updates like this for in December or whenever they do the. Uh, the next update, uh, I'm going to be very happy if they keep doing awesome things like this. But they also mentioned that the JFO helmet is going to be coming in January in the Janu January if event. JFO is my favorite helmet. I'm very excited for that one to come out. That will be part of the event pass, so it will be free. They also said additional reach items will be in there as well. So that's also very exciting. So I cannot wait for that type of stuff there. So, okay. Let's go ahead and jump in here. We have here the Halo Infinite Forge Beta FAQ. So basically, this is just a Q&A over everything Forge. You know, I will leave a link to this down below. Now, I'm not going to be covering everything in here. It is a fairly long, you know, uh, list of things here. But I will be, you know, covering some points that I thought was pretty interesting. Like this right here. Will 343 be adding community maps into matchmaking regularly how easy difficult is that to do so they said we want to do this as soon as possible but it'll take a bit of time uh, it first requires content to be created by the community makes sense makes sense then 343 needs to identify the content and work with the authors uh, to make sure the content meets the functional requirements works as expected performs well all that typical stuff uh, once the content has been finalized we will need to add it to a playlist so there you go. They say we do have plans for a Forge playlist that highlights only community created content. We're eager to see how the community embraces Forge and we'll look for opportunities to continue involving our approach to Forge content in matchmaking as warranted. So it, of course we'll take some time to be able to get, you know, Forge maps into matchmaking just because yeah, you have to basically once the maps get created, they have to go through a vetting process to make sure the maps don't have any glaring issues or anything like that. Uh, and then they got to work with the creators to be able to, you know, make changes to the maps or things like that. That makes a lot of sense. This happens all back in like Reach. It happened in Halo 4. It happened in Halo 5. It happened in every Halo game, this type of stuff. And it's awesome. Right here, we have confirmation that there will be a Forge playlist that highlights the only community created content so there's also going to be a forge playlist in here that will get some you know some crazy stuff maybe some race in there that would be awesome if we see some racetracks made by some people because they're incredible uh racetrack makers out there and i would love for them to see credit because race doesn't really get credited too much uh but you know just in the matchmaking playlist aspect in halo 4 they did have a playlist uh for a little bit which was great um but you know it doesn't really get added into things that much uh besides that so they talk about when does the pit the pit hit matchmaking um they say before the end of the year so just december i guess november december end of november or december 
before the end of the year and they said with other official legacy map remakes planned further down the road so i don't know if those will be forged or those will be dev created maps i do hope that they will have some dev created maps in there i know the forge is powerful but i would like to see some dev created maps you know because the, the you know, forge isn't at the point where you can yeah you know, like it's not equal to dev created maps so i would definitely like uh to be able to see that type of stuff on there um so uh, this says, when do you think you'll consider Forge out of beta? Is it based on performance or the amount of content in the mode? For the most part, the beta label means that, that uh, we'll still apply more polish and bug fixing to some aspects of the experience. In addition to seeing what new issues and opportunities may arise, I love that they say and opportunities, uh, may arise as we release Forge into the wild at a massive scale. So it's interesting that they say opportunities because there's some things in Halo 5's Forge uh, like the little weapon glitch and everything like that that weren't intentional but they embraced it and so it's stuff like that there's new issues and opportunities like what if stuff happens where they're like oh we can go ahead and add that in as an actual feature or something like that because something happens so it could be stuff like that so you know it, it's just basically um they're just making sure there's no you know make sure it's fully polished by fixing before they have the beta tag because every single forge that has ever released has had some problems with it um i definitely halo 5 for sure you know you definitely remember a halo to anniversary halo 4 you know in halo reach and all that type of stuff like there's definitely some problems with uh forge and so you know it'd be nice just once they polish it all out then they'll remove that beta tag on there so but yeah it, it's i'm so excited for all this type of stuff um import geo this is talking about import geo from maya blender things like that um which i understand this is this is kind of challenging if you want to do that, that type of stuff because basically anyone can import anything uh so uh it, it would be it would be tough to officially support that type of content that's on there um this uh when i permit others to make copies of my will those copies restart at version number one or separate okay there's that type of stuff again i don't want to go through everything this is long so y'all could go read through some of these type of things um uh here we go is it right here is it possible to add campaign ai in forge are y'all working on it see this is huge this is huge it's possible it's possible and we are working on how to best bring these features from our internal tools into forge at a later date we see a lot of potential in allowing players to create experiences that lean into the cooper cooperative PDE space. Good news is that with the addition of NavMesh um, and the support of AI controlled bots, uh, we've already got a head start on pushing further into this area. So I'm, I'm so excited about the possibility of campaign AI. Like you can have brutes and grunts and you know elites and jackals and everything running around on your map like that would be so cool so you then you can actually create campaign type of content which is really exciting um now of course they said we're not announcing anything this is a you know long uh like it's way down the road like type of stuff and everything like that but it's still very exciting type of thing on there um so here we go uh send this how can i download maps from other people do it in the community tab they have like popular maps popular modes popular prefabs recommended or you could just search up their gamer tags and just all that type of stuff to be able to find and download maps and everything on there um when will we see the custom game browser on here custom game browser says we'll land at season three uh, which is on March 7th. Hopefully that doesn't get pushed back. And if it does, hopefully the custom game browser does not. I think the custom game browser is super important. Do I think it's necessary for the lifespan, like for for the mode to be popular? No, I don't think it's necessary because other things like back in the day, like Reach and stuff like that, never had a custom game browser and it did great. And even Halo 5 had a custom game browser, but it was... It wasn't really used too terribly much by a lot of the community because it wasn't that great. It wasn't like MCC. MCC's custom game browser is insanely awesome. Uh, so I, while I don't think it's necessary, I do think it's very important for the longevity of custom games in Halo Infinite. So hopefully that will come sooner rather than later. Um, 
you know and especially gives us time to create some incredible maps so by the time it does release then we can have some a lot of fun like custom game type stuff with the browser and everything like that um so okay here we go we we'll go ahead and keep scrolling down a lot of this type of stuff again there's so much stuff here um you know uh you say you'll add more features once forge releases what features do you plan on adding later so they said editing on dev maps so i guess currently right now you cannot edit on dev maps uh which is kind of disappointing but we do know from the um from the leaked build you can't change any of the vehicle spawns the weapon placements none of that type of stuff it's like locked within the geometry of the map itself and i'm guessing that's the reason why editing on dev maps is not a thing yet um like at, at launch because it seems like all that stuff is locked within the geometry um so you can't like remove spawns you can't remove um weapon placements and vehicles and everything like that on these maps so they may have to go in and rework all that stuff to be able to have that mini game modes you know of course is huge you know we want to see a lot of uh, different mini game type of modes and everything ai spawning tools and stuff like that so um yeah so uh let's see here uh will the maps be carried when it leaves the beta so, yes it'll all maps will get carried over and stuff like that here's another huge one do you plan on adding water features at some point yes we are currently discussing the best w uh way to bring placeable water into forge no other details to share at the moment, but it's clear that this functionality is very important to the Forge community. Yes, it is very important to the Forge community to get water. Like my whole thing is we don't need, at least at first, we can have like a basic water volume or sheet or something where it does not react to the player, does not react to shooting. Give us something basic. Give us just something so we don't have to do some ridiculous trick with you know, like in Halo 5 decals and lights and everything like that to make it look like water, even though it didn't really look that great uh, towards water. Like, I would rather have something that doesn't react to the player just so we can have some water on the map. Like, if you want to make Beaver Creek or something, you can make a little creek there. Uh, and it's like, I'd rather have something like that. And you can even call it basic water sheet or something, you know, so it's basic. Uh, and then later on, you could get a more in-depth water volume that actually reacts to players. You know, it reacts to shooting. Um, you can actually go into it and you would have the effect of water, you being inside water or something like that. You know, that could come later. Those could be called advanced water volumes. I don't know. Uh, but like that type of stuff would be great. That's the type of thing that I would love to be able to see as well as a terrain editor, as well as colorful vegetation uh, like colorable grass and trees to, so you can make the leaves look like purple and so that way you can be on an alien world or something like that I, I want all that type of stuff on there so there's a lot of great stuff in here I highly suggest y'all checking out I love the forge team that's on here uh, like really you know the forge lord and of course his team and everyone uh, that is working at 343 they are super passionate about getting forged the best it can be and adding as many options in here you could clearly tell about what they want to be able to add in here uh with different types of stuff like uh so i highly suggest just if once it comes out even if you aren't a forger try try forging just once it comes out on the 8th just jump in try forging and just see what you can make and you know you can watch some tutorials i know there's going to be a lot of people making tutorials online including myself uh, so, you know, watch some tutorials, make something because you never know you could really enjoy it and then you could go out and maybe you get good enough to where you can build some incredible maps and then even some of your maps can make it in matchmaking and they don't have to be like incredible competitive maps or anything like that. You can make stuff like I make race maps because for one, I love not having to worry about spawns and, you know, like in weapon times, like weapon spot, like placements and everything and you know just objectives and everything like that you don't have to worry about all that type of stuff you build a track you put out all the checkpoints everything like that you build some scenery around it and boom you got a great map that's one reason why i love making race maps so uh yeah so it's just one of those things where everyone just needs to get out there on the eighth try some try it just try it you know making 
uh, map. I would love to be able to see more and more maps. I'm definitely going to have different sections in my Discord if you want to be able to post your maps. Uh, so if y'all do want to join my Discord uh, description down below, I will also be making a video here soon over just over just some great communities like uh, Discord communities and everything that y'all can actually join if you want to be able to just you know get help if you're forging if you need scripting help if you need aesthetic you know type of help on your map if you need block out help if you just need help just with anything you know I'll be making a video over some great discords that can go over that type of stuff uh, for everyone so again thank you so much for coming out appreciate it this was a fairly long video but I'm glad uh, that y'all stuck all the way through it I really appreciate that be sure to give it a like subscribe for more Halo Infinite Forge stuff and you know everything and I cannot wait till the 8th and remember let's forge a new Halo